Hi everyone, it's Ian here from CAD Space and welcome to another CAD Space blog. Today I'm going to quickly demonstrate one of the great features of SOLIDWORKS that isn't that widely used and it's actually pretty powerful and that's the deform tool. So uh, as you can see we've got a simple hinge tab assembly. We've got a spring on this and we want to attach that spring to this extrude up here. Uh, being a straight spring the way it's modelled that's a bit hard to do at the moment so what we're going to do is deform that to take that path. So if we go into the spring, I'll just show you quickly how that's modeled. Uh, what I've done is used the helix spiral feature. So that uh, takes an initial profile, which was a circle, um, that uses that as a boundary and then with a pitch revolution or height uh, specified, you've got a few options, you can then uh, develop this helix. I used that with a sweep profile to sweep and I've got a couple of revolves top and bottom just to get it looking like it would out of the factory. Now for the deform feature what we need is an initial path and a target path. So I've got the initial path here that's just a vertical line straight up the center line of the spring. Curved path I've uh, actually modeled that assembly using center line so the tabs, as you can see, we've got uh, a distance of 94 mil between that extrude point where this uh, spring would sit to the hinge point, and let's say we want an angle of 45 degrees. Uh, what I'm going to do is use an arc to sketch the path that we want that spring to take. So if we hit OK there. Uh, the deform tool is under insert features and deform if you're struggling to find it uh, or any command uh, if you type it up in the search command bar it's a lot easier up there deform type we want curve to curve uh, the initial initial curve here is that vertical as i mentioned and then the target path we've already got so down here we can select uh, bodies to be deformed. We hit that box and then select the spring obviously. We'll get a preview. That's not exactly what we want it to look like. As you can see it's following that path but the springs come out a bit weird looking. Uh, if we hit curve direction down the bottom here that actually uh, gets the body to maintain the curvature of that that sketch there. So each point in the um, in the spring is actually tangent to that that curve which is what we wanted. There's also an option to fix selected uh, parts of the body so because we've got the, bolt, uh, the revolve before we can actually fix this bottom section as if it would be welded uh, onto the tab assembly for instance. We hit the check mark to deform. There we go we've got the curved spring. If we go back into our assembly that should now fit. There we go. And we can modify this as well. So because it's all tied in together, we can rebuild that at 60 degrees, for instance. And there we go. The spring is extended and maintained that curve. If you have any questions about this or uh, wanted to request a topic, please feel free to contact us. And don't forget to visit our website at www.cadspace.com.au. And thanks for watching.